Hello guys, I'm glad you are here today. This is Motion with Nas and I really hope you've been checking my previous content. If you do, I would like to say thank you for always checking up on my content. I really have do appreciate it. And if you are new to this channel, please make sure you do try and subscribe. I'm pretty sure you are going to get a whole lot of value by just watching my tutorials. So in today's video, we are going to be creating this, this cool ball light and you are going to be doing like more like a flat 2D version of it. And I'm pretty sure you're going to have so much fun in recreating this. All right, let's get to it. So we are going to start by creating our composition, which is going to be 1080 by 1080. And thankfully, with the new updates, uh, Adobe Effects 2023, we have new great preset here, so which is quite easy for us to use. So I'm just going to choose this preset here, and I'm going to make it 30 frames per second, 10 seconds long. And I'm just going to name this Disco Animation. And I'm going to click OK. So before now, I've actually imported the colors that I'll be using for this composition. I will highly recommend Ray Dynamic Colors so that you can always get your colors always linked in. You see the way I'm going to use them throughout this particular tutorial. Then I'm going to go ahead and create another composition, which is practically going to be the same, but this time around, name this Fractal Noise Light. Now click OK. So I'll go into Fractal Noise and I'll create a solid, new solid. I'll name this FN, which is Fractal Noise, and I'll click OK, and I'll apply my Fractal Noise effect to this. So first, I'll change this noise type to Block, and I'll change the contrast to 79. I'll change the brightness to 14. I'll go to Complexity, I'll change it to 1. Let's drag it back to 1. I'll open up Transform, and I'm just going to decrease the scale by 71. So what I would like to do is, is to make sure that this and to this edge is actually quite the same. So let me play a little bit with the offset. So let me just move it to the side a little. So I think that just works fine. Let me reduce it some more. Okay, I think I'm pretty good with this. So it's kind of even on the side. I also want to make sure it's even on the vertical line too. So let's adjust this. I'll just click and then using my up or down arrow button to make sure I get that. So, and I think I'm pretty good with this. Then I'll go to the evolution and I'm going to just apply a simple expression to this. If I click and drag this, can you see what it's giving us? So it's going to be changing. So let me just take this back to zero. So I'm going to alt click the evolution and I'm going to do time 30. So it gives us this continuous animation where it's just be circling around with the gray values. So I'll close this up and I'll add one more effect to this. That will be Colorama. And by default, you can see what it's doing. And if I scroll this, can you see it's already giving us some kind of effect. We really need to change the colors to the kind of colors that we want. So I'm going to open up the output and I'm going to start changing the colors. So I'm going to double click this to get my own color. So, and I have this, so I have to change in the values here and saturation and, and the luminance. Uh, I have my values here already. So I'll just have to impute this. So now that I've imputed the values, I have to move the colors around so I can get to achieve what I really want to. So I'll just move this white to this point here, move this here, somewhere here, then move this here. Then maybe I'll just move this up here a little bit, then here a little bit. Let's leave it at this. I think this is looking good. But then I'm going to go to circle repetition. I'm going to change the value to about, let's say, 5.5 right so this is how I get to achieve colors for the disco ball so I'll close that close this and then I'll go back to my disco animation and then I'll bring in my fractal noise light drop it here and what I'll do now is to add an effect called CC sphere uh, what I would do is to wrap everything around the sphere so right now we need to change the light setup for this the light and the shading so i'll open up the light and see if there's anything that i can tweak here so i think i can reduce, increase this to 125 then open up the shading i'll take down the diffuse to zero increase the ambient to 100 
and that will give us the kind of result that we want and i think with this we are pretty good so these are the settings that i apply to this close all of this here and if i just scroll it just keeps changing so we are done creating the disco ball so the next thing i want to do is to create our background let me hide this first so what i'll do is i'll go to my paint tool and i'll activate my title action save and i'm just going to try and zoom in and then click this at the center and come down let this be a little bit long like this i'll hold on shift so i can have something like this you can make sure that your stroke is this wide so let me just take this to 160 or let me do 150 for now let me take this down and i will open this up i'll go to add now i had repeater and i'll open this up i'll increase the number of copies to six for now and i'll open up the transform repeater change the position the x axis to zero and then on the rotation just click and drag so with this we can have something really really cool like this so i actually do need more copies so i need about 12 copies so i'm just going to put 12 copies here and i'm going to try and rotate it some more till everything feels even all right so about 30 degrees we actually make this very even so right now i still want my width to be thicker than this so i'm just going to increase this a little bit more yeah i think here yeah, this is good so we have actually done the first part of the lines i would like to quickly show you guys another way of achieving this in um, illustrator it's actually going to be the same process the same method add, adding creating your shape adding repeater but i believe this method is actually faster if you use illustrator so let me quickly take you there and we create the second one so for this i've actually created my artboard already so what i need to do is to go to my pen tool if you're trying to look for the center it's going to try and pinpoint you where the center is so i can click and then just come out a little bit and drag it out and i'm just going to click back on my move to now i have my stroke so right now i just need to increase my stroke quite a lot let's do about 75 and i have something like this so all i need to do now is to go to my stroke come to the profile and i'll choose this it's going to reduce the stroke width at the edge till it has a point like this but now it's actually going the opposite direction so all i need to do is to come here beside it flip along so if i click that i have something like this which is really really cool so with this i think i would like to increase the stroke width a little bit so let me do 120 so after doing this i'm going to click on arrow for rotation and the anchor point to be at the center here of the line but then i need to change the anchor point to be at the center of our hardboard so what i would do so i would click on alt hold on alt and click here once as soon as i do that it's going to give me this dialog box so what i would do is because i want 15 copies so i would just do 360 divided by 15 right and i'll click on copy make sure you have a preview on i'll click on copy and as soon as i do that all, all i need to do is just do ctrl d to repeat that process and i have my rotated lines like this and with this it's actually quite easier quite simple to achieve this instead of going into after effect and do repeat and all of that so what i'll do now i'll highlight everything do ctrl g to group them all i'll go to my overload now this time around i would like to check this so that everything to all bring everything as one layer so i don't want it to split layers so make sure that is checked make sure everything is grouped and then i'll push it to after effect highly recommend overload because it's actually make your workflow really really fast now the sad part is let me uncheck this so the sad part is it didn't bring out the tapered line just a little quick update on this if you want to have it the way it is even as the steeper all you need to do is highlight everything do ctrl g to group them all and then you go to object go to expand appearance and as soon as you do everything turns into a fill shape so you can easily just move all of this to after effect and everything will be tapered without you doing additional work or trying to adjust the settings right so i've actually finished up the tutorial before i realized that this is actually an option but that's not a problem let me first of all change this color so i'm going to select this and then change the color my really dynamic color to this because this is the color i want to work with now i have this which is really good so i would open this up open this up the open one of the first group then open this up then i'll go to taper and i'll just increase this quite a lot and with this i have been able to achieve this i'm going to copy this I'm going to come here, search for taper, and I'm just going to highlight all of this. 
and when i pasted that and i have this so i guess you might just have to try the two method and see which one works faster for you I can argue that this is, is even a little bit slower but sometimes getting those rotation accurately in after effects can be really really pain so the last thing i like to create right now is the background which is a solid and i'm going to just change this to blue right name this bg click ok this is not the blue i'll be using so let me even hide this this is not the blue i'll be using so i'm just going to click this add fill to this and i'm going to just come here change the color to the color that i prefer for this i also notice that the line is actually not as thick the red one so i'm um, first of all drag this below let me name this red line uh each line or something so let me even change the color to this red this this so i also need to change the color of this to what i have and it's supposed to be this pink so i'll click this and i'll just click on this pink and then to take on that color so i'll click on my red line and i'm just going to increase this a lot maybe we should do about 96 196 so i'm going to come here i'm going to click r for rotation i'm just going to add simple expression to this which is time 50 so before i will add the expression to this i need to make sure that the anchor point is at the center so i can i notice that the anchor point is here so i'm going to take this y for changing anchor point so bringing out the anchor point too and i'm going to click and drag hold down control but it snaps to the center and that's it so right now if i rotate it it should go accordingly which is absolutely fine so what i need to do now is to add expression to this time 25 and i'll click out okay so if i click this can you see what we have here so if i just play this i have this cool thing going on here so now i can activate my disco light uh, one thing i can do i can also increase the size so let me open up the sphere increase the radius a little bit more so let me just increase let's do about 250 if i play this this is what we have what we need to do to just wrap this up is to stylize the whole composition so i'll come here click this and i'll add glow to this i may add deep glow just a tiny bit so what i'll do is i'll go to the effects here and i'll change this to 0.1 and i'll do 255 so the reason why it's giving me this bounding box here is because i need to check this continuous rasterizer and as soon as i do that you will not see that again now i'm looking at this it's looking a little bit strong maybe i should just deactivate this for now let me add other effects first then i'll come back to this i'll create an adjustment layer name this stylize so i'll add blur to this gaussian blur and i'll increase the block to about four i had another effect sharpen and i'll increase this to about 161 so with that combination is can you see that we're already getting some really really cool stylized and now it seems like our red stroke tapered stroke has a white outline likewise every other thing here it's really really looking good then i'll also add deep glow to this just a tiny bit right this can be very very strong so 0.03 and i'll do let's say 65 so it's actually going to be really really subtle and our hard curves so i'll just bring the mean tones down a little bit and our hard one more effect chromatic aberration so this is actually a plugin from plugin everything likewise the glow as well they are both plugin from the same brand or the same person uh, you can try and check them out i'll try and leave the link in the description and i'll do point seven so what this will do is to shift the channel a little bit so we can have some other kind of less digital look but these are all the things that brings it all home and with this this is what i have and then let me go and activate the deep glow i might not even need it anymore i think i can do without it so that is not helping at all okay then i'll add one more adjustment layer take that up and i'll name this posturize and then i'll add posturize time to this now it to change it this all this does is to change the frame rate so but now i'm going to change the frame rate to 18 to look a little bit jerky and it gives it some kind of feel which is really really cool then lastly i need to add rotation animation to the sphere so i'll go to my fractal noise light then go to the rotation here and all i need to do is to rotate i believe is the x-axis no, that's the wrong one. Is the y axis? Yes. 
to rotate on the side so let me just solo this so i can really move i can use keyframe or i can just simply use an expression as well i think let me just use keyframe for this i'll take this here then set this then exactly 10 seconds and maybe to what i've done this now yeah, it's looking really really subtle and this is exactly what i want so if i uncheck this now i have this and then the last thing are the stars right and that's actually quite simple to create so i'll create a new composition name this stars Sweep this and i'll create a cycle for this no stroke but feel then centralize this and i'm going to go to add go to Lock on both, click on this, then click this. Right, so if you go to the opposite direction, you have something really cool like this. Quite satisfied with this. You can actually make it more complex if you want, if you want to increase the points or something like that. But this is what I'll be doing for now. So, all I need to do is apply simple scale animation to this. So, I'll just do this and then zero, then easy ease. Photograph editor, do this. So if I play this, I have so it needs to go back, copy and then paste that. I need to make sure that it's looking correct. Okay, so let's see. So I need to make sure this is actually very fast. I can actually make it faster so let's just drag it so it's just going to be yeah something like that so i'm going to click this make sure it's absolutely white then i would add glow to this yeah so i think this is good and just we increase the radius quite a bit increase the intensity and so what i'll do now is i would duplicate this then the one under i'll change that to blue right and then i'll offset this a little bit so if you play this so we have this can as well as just cut this here and trim to work area and i'll go back to my disco animation then bring in my stars just drop here on top if i go to the beginning can you see what we have so all i need to do is just scale it down and then i think i like to change the blending mode to hard so you can see that maybe i need to add more glow to this maybe i should just do the blue as well use the exposure 2.5 then this to about 250 let me just move this around to see how it looks like uh, let's change back to normal yeah i think this works for me just fine so all i need to do is just move the stars around basically now i can also make it really really small so make it smaller maybe reduce the opacity a little bit to about let's say 70 percent so it's blending really really well right so with this you can just duplicate this and have all of that going on so i'll just duplicate this couple of times last and not the least is i want to bring in an asset so this is asset i want to bring in so i'll drag and drop here and i'll just drop it here below stylize and i would first of all scale this down quite large then go back to fit the screen i would like to invert the value so i'll just come here and click add effects to invert the value so the white will become black i'll change this to screen and then i have this going on here and i'll reduce the opacity to about let's say 35 percent now if i play this now so with this this is what we have it's actually looking quite interesting i think this sphere is actually too big so let me reduce this back to the radius back to let's just do 200. yeah we've come to the end of the tutorial i really hope you do enjoy this and to actually achieve the disco ball is actually quite easy quite simple uh what took our time is actually to stylize it to make really really look like a flat 2d animation styles I really hope you do enjoy that and if you do please make sure you do click on the like icon and if you are new to this channel make sure you click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can always get real time updates from me don't forget the project file is in the link in the description and you can also let me know if you have any tutorial requests from me and i'll be so glad to take up on that all right guys so make sure you are good and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you